Hi everyone, my name is Amelia Valenti and I'm the West Village resident gardener. Today we're shooting at the gorgeous Arcadia, surrounded by beautiful green tropical foliage in the heart of West Village. Today I'm going to be talking about three very different plants and how to propagate them many different ways. So first of all, we have the gorgeous Anthurium plant. I love these guys because they grow so well indoors, but they also add a burst of colour, which is very rare to find indoors. Um, this particular one is a red flower, as you can see, uh, but they do come in many different colours, um, shapes and sizes. Um, so today we're going to be propagating this one just by the plant itself. We won't be using any tools for this propagation, so don't worry, you don't need to run out and buy anything for this. You are simply going to use your hands. So, to propagate the anthurium, as you can see here, there's lots of separate plants within this one potted plant. So I have lots of potential for different propagation of different plants within this one. Um, so I'm going to pick the one closest to the edge. As I pull it, I'm going to make sure that I get enough roots. And as you can see, now we have a brand new plant that I can pot up. We've got a nice strong root there, which means it's most likely to take. And we have beautiful, gorgeous new leaves coming through as well. So this one will do very well. Alternatively, if you're worried about it getting a little bit top heavy, you can remove these leaves from the plant. And that way you've got your little propagation right there. Secondly, we're going to be propagating spider plants. Um, now, there's multiple ways you can propagate these. They do look great um, in a pot hanging over the edge. These were originally flowers, as you can see, these little white buds, um, and now those flowers have turned into babies. So we can actually take these babies off without secateurs, just with our hands. And now I have a brand new spider lily plant. Some of these will have nodes, some of them won't. Um, these are quite hardy, so it doesn't matter too much if they don't. But I will literally just put that in a pot, water it every day or two, um, and it will grow really well. Uh, the second way of propagating these guys is actually separating the existing plants. So as you can see, within this mum, we have one, two, three, four plants in here, I believe. Now, if I liked that it was trailing over, and I had lots of pups hanging off my bookshelf, I would leave those and instead I would take this out and I would separate it like so. And now I have a brand new plant that I can start propagating from. Finally, we have this green spathylifolium. Now these guys are perfect in full sun. Although these are indoor plants, this one is definitely not an indoor plant. Um, it loves full sun. As you can see, it's got these gorgeous little rosettes and that's why it's probably one of my favourite ground covers. Um, and it's just got this beautiful green foliage that I just think is adorable. It's great for weed prevention as well. Um, so if you do have a garden bed that's getting quite an amount of weeds, get rid of the weeds, plant a few of these in and in a few months, trust me, your garden will be covered with this guy. Now this guy's really easy to propagate without any tools. I'm literally just going to take one of the strands here. I'm going to find it as low to the pot as I can and pull it out. Now this one does have a tiny little root there, which is perfect. You can propagate it even when there's no root visible, just from cutting. I'm going to put that on the top of some soil, dust some soil over the top, give it some water and let its roots grow. And then we'll have a whole new plant within a matter of months. Today you've learnt how to propagate three different kinds of plants in many different ways. Uh, some people love to use water propagation. I personally just love to get them in the soil. Um, but have a go. Trial and error is the perfect way to learn. Uh, so get your plant, have a look at your plant, study your plant and try and work out the best way to propagate.